In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate WordPress with System.io. So this will allow you to create email opt-in forms in System.io, but then embed them into your articles in WordPress. So you can build your email list via your blog, but collect those subscribers in your System.io account. I'm also going to show you how to create pop-ups in System.io, but have them display on your WordPress blog. And this can be used for if you're just directing a person directly to a product or also using the pop-ups to collect email subscribers. So using System.io pop-ups in this way on your WordPress blog is a great way to use a free pop-up for WordPress rather than having to pay for a pop-up plugin. However, with that said, although this free option for a pop-up plugin for WordPress works great, it is somewhat limited compared to a premium pop-up plugin for WordPress like ConvertBox. Now, if you just don't need all the bells and whistles that something like ConvertBox brings, or you're on a tight budget, then this is an excellent option. But if you need something more powerful than this, for example, if you want to use pop-ups with quizzes and things like that, then you need to look to something like ConvertBox. And if that's the case, I've also left a link in the description below this video to ConvertBox to check out as well. Now, let's get into the tutorial and I'll show you how to set this up. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to create an email opt-in form like this one in System.io. Then I'm going to show you how to embed it into WordPress articles. So you can collect email subscribers on your blog, but build your list in System.io. And you can do this on the free plan of System.io. Now I'm currently working with an old blog that I don't actually use anymore. So we're going to play around with this a bit and I'm going to show you a few different things you can do with this. Then afterwards, I'll show you how to set up your pop-ups in System.io and display them on your WordPress blog. So the first thing we need to do is create our email opt-in box. So of course we do that in system.io. Now in order to do that, come over to the funnels tab and you can actually create your opt-in box in any of your existing funnels or you can just create a new funnel. So I'm just gonna go to create and I'm just gonna name this demo email opt-in WP. That's just so I remember what this is for. As we're creating this opt-in form to collect email subscribers, I'm gonna check this option to build an audience, click save. So here's my new funnel at the top of the list. So if I open the funnel, I'm actually gonna ignore both these pages. I can leave them there or delete them, it doesn't really matter. But what we need to do first is now go to this button at the bottom that says add step. And we need to add a very specific type of page. So from the drop down menu, well, first of all, we're gonna name the page. So if I just name it email opt-in for WP and doesn't really matter, name it whatever you want. Now from the drop down menu, we need to select this option here, which is inline form. So it has to be this type of page. Now select save. And now system.io is going to give us some templates for email opt-ins. You can use any of these and customize them how you want. So I'm just going to select this one again. So I click select. And now, of course, to edit your opt-in form, we come to the edit page button. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time editing this. I presume you already know how to do this. It's pretty simple, but you can just change your text here. Very simple. If you want to change the background color, you just need to come up to the button at the top here that says settings and you'll find the options to change the color here and all the other options to customize the look and feel of your opt-in form here in the sidebar. And if you just wanted to add another form field, we can see it's just the email address here. We can just duplicate this and then go to the settings cog and from the input type, you can just change that to first name. So very simple. Now, once you've customized the look and feel of this and got it looking how you want it to, just make sure to remember to set up the correct options for the button. So when you collect your email subscribers, you'll actually add them into your system account. So for example, in the sidebar here, when I've selected the button, the options we have under action when button clicked. So we've got submit the form, which will be, of course, to collect the email address and the name of the subscriber and submit them in your system.io account to build your list. Or you can check that button to open a URL. If you are not collecting email addresses, you can just redirect them to another page. For example, if you want to send them to your sales page or to an affiliate link or whatnot or you can send them to the next step in your funnel, or you can select to download a file. So because we're building a list in this example, I'm gonna leave it on the first option, which is submit the form. And then it's asking us, do you want to redirect the user after contact registration? So here your options are no redirection. So for example, if you're embedding this form onto a article in your blog post, and you'd like the reader to stay on that blog post and continue reading it after they've entered their email address, then just select this option, no redirection. However, if you want to send them to custom URL, like a thank you page or any other type of page, then select custom URL and enter the URL of the page you'd like to send them to here. So I'm just going to leave it on no redirection. Now I'll go to save changes and go back to the funnel steps menu here. Now, in order to make sure that you send your email subscriber to a specific email list, you need to set up an automation rule. So click on automation rules, add rule. And the only option we have is the one we need, which is funnel step form subscribed. Select this, come over to the dots on the far right, and then select the option to add automation rule. And from here, we need to click this button to add an action. 
And then the option we need to choose is subscribe to campaign. So I presume you've already got a campaign set up under emails campaigns. So this way you can put your new subscribers to an automated email follow-up sequence and your campaigns will show from this drop down menu here. And you choose the campaign you want to add them to. And then you click save rule. Now, if you don't know how to set up your automated email campaigns, then you want to watch this video that I'm showing on the screen right now. And this will show you how to set up your campaigns and your automated email follow-up sequences in system.io. And I've also left the link to that video in the description below this video, so it's easy for you to find it. So now we've got our form set up. All we need to do now is embed it into our blog post. So we've come back to step configuration. Make sure you're on this email opt-in form page that we've set up. Click this button here that says script. And now system.io is gonna give you a script for this opt-in form. So copy this to clipboard and then come over to your blog post. So I'm gonna embed it on this article here, this ClickFunnels Platinum Review. And how about we put it just above the first heading? So this is the back end of that article. I'm going to scroll down to the place where I want to insert my form and I make a space and then I'm going to add a block. And the block I'm going to look for is the HTML block and select the HTML block and then paste my code in here and then click update. And then once this post is updated, have a look at our article and that form should be embedded in our article. And here it is. So that's how you would add the form to an individual blog post. But what if you've got a big website with hundreds of articles and you want to add the form on every article? So I'll show you a quick workaround for that. So if we go back to the WordPress dashboard and we're going to go to plugins and then we're going to go to add new plugin. And the plugin we're going to search for is called Add Inserter. And now this is a free plugin. It's this one here by Igor Funa. And as you can see, I've already got it installed and activated. So find this plugin click activate, no, click install and activate. And what this plugin is going to do is it's going to allow you to insert anything really, text or images or videos or whatnot in specific locations across your website, even across multiple pages, if that's what you choose. So once this plugin is installed, you come to settings, you'll find add inserter in the settings menu here. Click add inserter. And now here is the add inserter plugin. I'm going to select one of these tabs that are not being used. So if number one is being used currently, I'm going to select number two and I click on this little spanner icon and then click on this little pencil icon here. And now in this window that pops up, I want to select, it's currently on the visual page, but I want to select the text page. Now here, I'm going to paste in our code from system.io. So it's important that this code is pasted in the text page, not the visual page. And then click this button, use. And now we need to select where we want this form to appear. So if I leave it on posts, so I can select posts or static pages, home page, and so on. I'm going to select to add it to all posts. I'm going to click this option here. Currently it's disabled, but from the drop down, I've got various options where I can insert it. For example, before the post, before the content, uh, before paragraph. So if I selected this one, I could then say before paragraph 10, for example, and then it will appear on every post before paragraph 10 or before image number one, or after image and so on. So just for speed, I'm just gonna select before the content and then click save settings here. And now once this is saved, you should be able to go to any blog post on this website and see that form at the very top before the content on every post. So let's just have a look and see if it is displaying. And there it is, so it's at the top of this post. So look at this one here to the top of this one and so on. So that's now embedded at the top of every single post. So now I'm going to show you how to set up your pop-up in system.io and embed it on your WordPress blog. So we're going to come back to our funnel to create our pop-up. So now we need to add another step. So click add step and now I'm just going to name it pop-up WP and from the type we need to select this option pop-up form. Click save and now system.io is going to give us lots of options for pop-ups. So let's go with this one here. Click select, then to edit your pop-up, come to the edit page button. And now here, again, you've got all the options to edit your page in the sidebar menu here. But a couple of things I'm going to show you that you can also do with these pop-ups, which is pretty cool. Now, depending on what you want to do with your pop-up, you could use it to collect email opt-ins. And then, of course, you'd just make sure that the button to submit your email opt-in form would be connected to an automated follow-up series, like I showed you in the previous step when we set up the embedded email form. Or you can also have the options to embed a video onto your pop-up. 
if you wanted to as well, which is pretty cool. And another really great feature that Systendo gives you here is you can also use countdown timers, which is awesome. So there's no free pop-up plugin that I've found that gives you the option to add these countdown timers. And these can really help to increase your conversions. So this is usually a premium feature on a paid pop-up plugin to get a countdown timer, but you can actually use this pop-up in Systemio free on the free plan and use this with your WordPress blog, which is pretty cool. Anyway, once you've got the form looking how you want it, click Save Changes. We we'll go back to our funnel steps, make sure we're on the pop-up we've just created, and then click the script option, copy our code for our script. And then we're gonna come back to our WordPress article. And now, instead of selecting a specific location where you want the form to appear like a static form, like I showed you earlier, because this is a pop-up, it's gonna be essentially hidden to start with. We can just put this at the very beginning of the article if we want to and select the HTML box again, paste in our code, click update. Oh, actually one thing I forgot to show you, let's go back to our pop-up and go back to the page edit. We just want to go to settings and choose how and when, and how and when we want this pop-up to appear. So currently the pop-up by default is set to open the pop-up automatically as soon as a person lands on the page, which is not generally what I want to do. So I'm going to turn that to off. And now we've got an option to open the pop-up on exit intent. So when the page visitor starts to leave the page, the website can detect the mouse movement as it moves towards the back button, then our pop-up will appear. This is important here. It says that we can't detect on exit intent on a mobile device. So therefore, do you want to set a timer for if a person's viewing your article on a mobile device. So yes, we do want to do that. So if a person is viewing on a website, this pop-up will trigger once they start to move to their mouse towards the back button. However, if they're on a mobile device, we can set this to open after a certain amount of seconds. So let's just say it'll open after eight seconds on a mobile device. Click Save Changes, and now that is set. And now we have embedded this form in this article and now if I preview the article, the pop-up shouldn't appear instantly because I've just changed that. Now we can't see this HTML code. So it is actually embedded here, but the visitor can't see it. But now watch my mouse as I start to move towards the back button, the pop-up appears. But now currently this pop-up is appearing only on this particular article. So I've only embedded it on that one article. But if you want to have this pop-up appear on every page of your site, then you could still use the add insert plugin I just showed you previously in this video, or you can come back to your pop-up, grab your script, and I'll show you another way if you didn't want to use a plugin, but instead you wanted to have this pop-up still appear on every page of your site, come to appearance and then go to theme file editor. And then under the file editor, we need to come over to this option, which is the footer, footer.php. And once this page opens up, you need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and where you see the last body tag here, we need to paste it above that last body tag. So I'm just gonna make a space, paste the pop-up code in here, update file. And now if I go to any of these articles, let's go to, I don't know, uh, this one. And if I move towards the back button on this article, the pop-up now appears. So that pop-up is now appearing on every page of this website. And then if you wanted to remove that code, so it does, so the pop-up doesn't appear on every page anymore, you just want to get rid of it, just come back to the footer.php file and delete that code and then click update file and your pop-up will no longer appear on all your pages of your site. So that's how to integrate WordPress with System.io. Now, if you've got value out of this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, if you need any more help with System.io, then I've got lots of tutorials on System on my channel and you can find my System.io playlist here.